Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. Today we are going to address this question, a very very important question which many of, uh, of us ask, I'm a cloud architect, should I know the command lines? Uh, I'm a data engineer, should I know a command line? I'm a network engineer, should I know the command line? So I just wanted to give an answer for that and it's a real scenario which, uh, which we are going to talk today. So the, the topic today is why should I learn command line or CLI commands in GCP? Let's get started. All right, we are in a in a console GCP console, and if I come to my uh, home screen, I see under this Google Cloud Platform status. Usually, it is to be green. Today, it's orange. The reason is uh, one of the popular product uh, or service BigQuery is having some issue. So, what is that? Let's just click on it and see. And this and our video today has a connection so what is the thing which it says is uh, there's some issue with BigQuery uh, which is started from September 22nd which is uh, if I'm not wrong let me just get the date date today it is September 22nd so uh, from the morning time it, it shows that there's some issue with BigQuery and the problem what they see is customers affected by this issue receive a blank page or an error page when they are trying to access BigQuery via the cloud console. Let's verify what is the error exactly. So I have one of my one of the BigQuery data set already in my project. Let me just click on this and see what happens. This is what they are saying. So if you see here uh, getting a blank screen or an error message. I'm not getting a blank screen but I'm getting a fail to load thing. So let me go back to my home screen and click on the hamburger menu or the navigation menu and see whether if I can do it from here will something change just wanted to give a try so under big data click on big query and let's verify whether something works not let me just click on it once again it's the same result so I'm not able to do it now as a cloud architect as a data engineer if i have learned everything via the console web interface gui graphical user interface today i will have a problem i will not be able to do anything on bigquery so that's where learning uh, cli commands really helps so i just wanted to show you a real example so let me launch my cloud shell so i have launched my cloud shell now if I put ls, I have one file called as BigQuery uh, underscore cloud shell. I'll show you what are the commands. If you have uh, mastered it, this will come as a rescue for you today. So now I'm not able to see anything in my BigQuery. So it shows I have a BigQuery data set one. What is a data set? If I don't even remember that, how can I, how can the command line, CLI commands can help me? BQ ls list all the data set good now inside this data set do i have any tables so for that just use this command let's see it does not show anything so let's try to load a, a data into this uh, a table uh, let's create a table with loading this data so data is bigquery underscore cloud shell so this is the data which we are going to load so let's try to do that bq load auto detect name of your data set and the table name which I wanted to create is employees and data which I wanted to load is this file that's it let's see whether the, f the content gets loaded yes it has been loaded successfully now if I do the same command previously which showed empty now should show me a result like there's a table exist awesome now let me just do it one more time so that since I cleared the screen you see that file now if you want to see the details the, the what is the data type what are the columns so simple what you can do is you can do something like show show colon your employees it should show me the details of that table the schema every details would be shown there it's more like clicking on the details tab in our BigQuery console so when you look at a table at the details that's what it is currently showing and now you see the time also is what it shows 
so this usually is based on uh, UTC time just just to show you that UTC uh, time now it's 11 11 17 that's what it shows there so far so good now how do I query it let's just query it quickly BQ query and we have seen in many of our videos we should never put select star so let me get the column names so done from what's the table name good hit enter and we should be able to see the result here so awesome so now I guess you would have got the answer by yourself why one should learn CLI commands in BigQuery it can come for your rescue when you have situations like this where your good friend UI may not come handy I would say whatever be your designation having an exposure on CLI will definitely help you in uh, bad times like this I would say today is a really uh, a bad day for BigQuery and the UI is not working since we had explored these things uh, we are able to work on it so even in my trainings which I usually do I emphasize on uh, even though it's a cloud architect training data engineering training, I emphasize on learning these things uh, important this is very very important does not matter where what's the designation or what's the kind of certification we are taking having an exposure on command line will definitely help you in your real implementation so that's the video which I wanted to share today. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching.